Hello all. Welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn quickly about applications of image processing. The image processing has got multiple applications across many sectors. We are going to see some of them which are very important one after another in a quick span. The first application area that I'm going to take is agriculture. Image processing has got enormous applications when it comes to agriculture particularly. Let's take the simplest of application where sorting and grading vegetables and fruits can be done easily with respect to image processing. We can use cameras and cameras can understand the quality of the vegetables or fruits and it can help in grading. We can use the same camera with some intelligent algorithms that can sort the fruits easily. This one has apple, that one has orange, etc. And when it comes to the field, farming field, weed detection is one of the very important areas that image processing can really be very helpful. Species identification is another area where researchers are working on at a very high intensity. Most important area is crop disease identification. When a crop gets some disease, we can have the record of the previous diseases that are all recorded and that are all already uh, available with us and we can compare it with the current image and we can find out what kind of disease it could be. It's a very uh, efficient way of analyzing things and uh, these are all some of the areas where we can use image processing when it comes to agriculture. One can also uh, understand with image processing uh, that amount of uh, fertilizers that are added to it, amount of pesticides that are added to the fruits, all these are also being done these days and the opportunities are really, really plenty. So I have just quoted few of them and you guys can really think about multiple applications and opportunities that you can uh, really correlate with, correlate it with. When it comes to automobiles, the simplest of application that we can really immediately say is number plate recognition, followed by which we have driver assistance systems, which includes a simple parking application to the most complex application, which will even assist drivers in having a safe, better driving, which can avoid collision with the nearby vehicles through the front and rear camera that are fixed. Uh, this is one of the very famous features that are available in, that is available in any one of the uh, modern cars that you take or high-end cars that you take that will alert you if you are going very close to another car or another vehicle which is coming in parallel. Lane detection is another application. It will help you in detecting the lanes properly and toll applications. When you cross the toll, your number plate gets recognized and automatically the account uh, can be detected for the toll crossing and usage of the toll roads. And accident impact detection. After an accident, uh, how exactly the accident has happened can be quickly analyzed and the impact can be calculated based on which the ambulances can be called and the impact will really and the impact understanding will really help you also in insurance process. It also helps you in understanding that who has made the mistake. Is it the driver's mistake or is it the fault of the person who has come in the opposite direction or what has happened? So entire uh, camera based applications for uh, particularly automobiles is very, very useful and this has got a vast scope scope that cannot be really conveyed in one session. We need multiple sessions to talk about where exactly image processing can be used in automobiles. Image processing with deep learning and machine learning is a step above that we are going to discuss in uh, my future sessions probably. Uh, this is one of the very important sectors where we got a lot of opportunities and if you want to do a project in image processing area, most of you really go ahead with uh, uh, automobile areas because we have got a lot of data sets also available for us to work on. Coming to industry, uh, when you work in any industry, for example, any machinery is related or any manufacturing industry, defect identification is done by uh, done with the camera, which is actually fundamentally image processing related stuff. Even in the clothing industry, we can understand if a cloth is all perfectly uh, made or stitched with image processing and if there is a damage that gets easily identified through the image processing techniques and it helps in inspection also. Uh, most important point, the robotic guidance. There are a lot of robots that are being used in all these industries these days. Uh, the robotic guidance is one of the very important areas that we can work on with image processing. And color identification. In some industries, we may have to identify the colors of the product. For example, uh, in an industry where milk is getting packaged, we need to identify is the milk good enough to be packed. So their color grading is all done. And uh, that is very important. Fruits grading and fruit uh, packaging. For example, apples all are to are to go with one particular lane. Oranges should go in one particular lane. And color identification will help you in all these. And fundamentally, image processing is one of the very important options for all those. Coming to medicine. Medicine is one of the very, very appreciable areas where image processing has grown like anything in the recent past. 
you take any scan or x-ray or ct analysis the uh, report can be easily analyzed with intelligent image processing algorithms and it helps doctors in diagnosing what kind of disease that particular person could have that's a very simple but yet very powerful application opportunity the robotic surgery is all guided through image processing and it's very important to be appreciated here uh, whenever there is a robotic surgery happening obviously uh, there is use of image processing and camera plays a vital role there the cancer and tumor analysis when you have a report uh, for a patient who is suffering from cancer or uh, tumor uh, we can go deeper into it through intelligent image processing, image processing algorithms and can understand how much intensity that the cancer cells have grown or the tumor has grown stent guidance uh, for the heart patients where uh, you need to pass on stent that's all guided through image processing uh, algorithms and camera related stuff all these are just a highlight and there are many more uh, this is just a, a hint of where it can be used and when you go deeper into image processing that's really an ocean when it comes to defense surveillance is the first and foremost image processing application that people will cite when you talk about defense the second one is target detection where is your target what is your target and tracking them detecting them is very important and recognizing them is the next part what is that object that you have recognized when you are launching a missile the missile should go obviously into the right place and the target and the object detection will be very helpful there and when you come to navigation that's very highly useful in navigation systems also so all these really are very uh, effective applications in the defense area and nowadays uh, during the disaster time or uh, during the time uh, where there is a flood or war or something uh, drones are really sent into the places where it is highly affected and the cameras in the drone capture all the images and it helps us uh, to find out if there are any survivors left there so this is one of the very uh, simple and uh, uh, very important applications that i can immediately cite here so the learning will evolve from here on the next session i'm going to talk about what are all the tools that you need to know before we go on into the algorithms perspective and to uh, write code also so i'm going to use python open cv and a little bit of matlab wherever is needed and all those are going to be very helpful for you i'm going to give the code also in the near future so stay tuned i hope the things are useful here in this uh, playlist if you have any suggestions inputs queries as usual please type it i'll respond to you as soon as possible Thank you very much for your tremendous support that you guys have been offering over the period of time. Thank you.